Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed. We always have a good time on this channel, so yes. As you already seen by the title, today's video is going to be how to know when a guy is serious. I mean, when you guys start talking, how to know if he's the one to continue a conversation with or to progress into the next stage with. I've had a lot of dating videos on my channel i've talked about different things about dating from like dating mistakes part one part two to dating in your 20s what to look out for red flags and all that stuff i'm going to give you 10 signs to know that i mean this guy is serious before we get right into the video follow me on instagram i say it all the time at the beginning of my videos first sign he's serious about you is if he chases you now let me tell you something right now i know in this uh gen z modern world like we have different opinions about who should shoot their shot first who should talk to who first who should do this first but seriously on this channel we are high value women and we don't chase we attract so if he chases you, he's serious. In this our modern world, uh, chasing is kind of difficult. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but I have noticed it. Chasing isn't really a thing because people really don't know how to date anymore. People don't know how to have regular basic human connection. Nowadays, human beings, we don't have patience for basically anything. Talk more chasing someone down. So if he puts in the effort to chase you, he's serious i'm not saying if he does that only then he's serious and you should, you should you know progress with him but couple with other things i'm going to talk about now my second sign that he's serious about you is if he brings clarity and not confusion <laughs> nowadays when it comes to dating mixed feelings confusion basically uncertainty on the fence in between however you want to call it it is the number one common thing that we face right now in our dating community in our dating world it does not matter what country what continent what race confusion and in-betweens are common they are just a thing when it comes to dating now if a guy comes to you like you guys are in the talking stage you guys are talking he's coming to you with facts and clarity Ugh, bro he is serious third sign that a guy is actually serious about you is if he communicates because I have said this a million times and I'm going to say it again nowadays communication is one of our biggest problems we say we don't find the right partner or the right man but realistically speaking we might have the right man but what's making him not the right man for us at the time or as we're with him is because communication is off nowadays people rather communicate with their phones than actual human beings <laughs> people are so quick to type and text but the, to have actual human interaction physically face to face it's very difficult so if you find a guy that communicates with you especially oh my god especially when it is not convenient for him on his part maybe he's going through something a personal issue and he cannot discuss the issue and rather he places the issue in front of you as far oh hey um, i'm going through something personal right now i might be a bit off or weird but i just wanted to let you know because i just didn't want to leave you hanging jesus christ that is a turn on for me when a guy is going through something jesus christ this is huge for me i'm saying this because i'm just i don't know i'm just realizing how huge it is for me because it makes me feel good inside the way i said it right now communication is hard for human beings so when a guy comes up to you and says listen i might not be you know i might be off or i might not sound the way that i usually sound i just cannot discuss what i'm going through right now with you might be for different reasons maybe because you guys are just getting to know each other and he doesn't want to you know put the burden on you or it could just be that he's not comfortable enough or he doesn't trust you that well he doesn't know you so it's a pass it's it's fine but he doesn't want to hurt you because he really is interested in getting to know you and he knows he knows that it takes time to get to know someone if he comes up to you and says lucy felicia amaka janet i don't know i use janet a lot <laughs> but honestly if he comes to you and says I'm going through something. I might be off the next couple of days when we're chatting or talking, but I just don't want you to feel that there's something wrong between us or there is something wrong with you or maybe my interest has changed. It's just that I'm going through some personal issues and it's hard for me right now. I'm not saying that I'm going to cut off communications with you. I wouldn't, but 
if I do, this is the reason why I just need a little time to put myself together. Oh my God, that's a ton on. Jesus Christ, that's a ton on. Whoa, because it's so difficult. And honestly, I feel like me saying this right now, it's even hard to find someone who can who can actually do that. I'm not going to lie, but if you find that one person who can do that, he's a keeper. Because that means if he starts to communicate from the beginning of you know your relationship or getting or your dating phase or cutting phase, meaning when you guys are in a relationship it'll be good he will communicate he will always communicate so that's definitely a serious man now i feel like i talked about communication a lot because communication is huge in a relationship like i've always said this whenever i talk about dating i emphasize a lot about communication so that's the reason why whenever i talk about communication i talk about it for a long period of time because it is very important for you to be able to communicate with your partner now my fourth sign that you know that this guy is serious about you is if he doesn't ghost or orbit now i have a video that's coming up about uh the difference between ghosting and orbiting how to avoid it you know science and all that stuff i'm going to have that video out because it is a trend now it's a trend for people to just wake up and ghost and orbiting just got into the scene because it's a new trend in the dating world now and i will explain break it down to you who a orbiter is and who like a ghost star is that is that is a ghost star whatever but anyway if he doesn't ghost or orbit he's a he's a serious guy because during the talking phase, there's usually this awkward moment sometimes where things might not go right and maybe communication starts to die down. Uh, sometimes guys, especially, take it as a sign to duck, to disappear, or to just let things be. But if a guy is serious about you, he'll put in the effort to make sure that he revives the conversation in one way or the other. So if he does, God, I always get scared when my air freshener goes off. But if he doesn't orbit or ghost you, he's the keeper. Well, he's a serious guy. My fifth sign that this guy is actually serious about you is if he gives you attention and he actually seeks for your attention, meaning he wants, he would like to have you give him attention. And it's hard, especially in the beginning, especially in this our modern world, like I've said a million times, because all these dating tips I give you actually is about you know our current situation that we're going through facing this dating world in our 20s but yeah uh if a guy gives you attention because i mean in the beginning if i'm being honest with you it's really hard to find a guy that doesn't have options and is not testing out his options you get and when you have a guy that's like trying 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 it, it's kind of difficult for him to give his attention to one person because he's trying so if you have a guy that you know that you have his attention like you know when you have someone's attention right if you know that you have his attention and he's he kind of seeks for your attention in a subtle way not in like a possessive way but in a subtle way then he's serious about you most likely he's not talking to anyone else but you and he just wants you do you get it? so he's serious about you if he gives you his attention and seeks your attention as well. Sixth sign that this guy is actually serious about you is if he actually makes the effort to organize things, to book things, to talk to you, to understand you, to listen to you, to be there for you. <sighs> Hard to find again, rare to find, but if this guy actually makes the effort to plan a date, I mean, in between your busy schedules and life, he just is the one trying to push to see to schedule something you know all that good stuff he's serious about you because nowadays people are actually mad people are crazy <laughs> so it's really hard to find uh, a guy that actually would be that committed in the beginning of you know the talking stage or beginning of your relationship or begin of dating or what what whatever it is that you guys are doing so if a guy actually puts in the effort sis He's serious about you now this is a big one because most guys <laughs> don't know how to communicate especially their feelings and intentions so my seventh sign would be if a guy is clear about his intentions and actually communicates them to you in the beginning he's serious about you you guys know why i'm talking about this because to be honest when guys first talk to you most guys i'm not saying every guy but when most guys actually talk to you in the beginning 
they most of them don't actually even know what they want with you first they just, they shall just know that they are attracted to you maybe they like how you look or maybe you're pretty you're hot all that good stuff or maybe they just like how you speak or how you carry yourself but in the beginning most people don't exactly know what they want from you which is a red flag if i'm being honest because you have to have you have to want something do you want like a situation with me do you want a relationship with me do you want to just be friends with me like have an intention i'm not saying that the intention will not change along the line as things progress between us but just have something something to work with but if a guy is just talking to you for the for the fun of it he's just talking to talk since he's not serious he's just playing games he just does not know exactly what he wants from you he's just trying his luck and whatever slides slides and that's not the kind of guy that you want to be talking to now my eighth sign that this guy is actually serious about you is if when he talks to you he talks with sincerity about you know everything about him you know his weaknesses his future goals and which also kind of aligns with yours your goals and like your aspirations if they kind of align but the main point is if he's actually a little bit like he's dropping it small small having like deep conversations with you about his life what he intends to do he might not go that deep but that's because i mean you guys don't exactly know each other so well but if he just has this type of deep communication with you or deep conversations with you he's serious about you like he sees you as someone that he could potentially have in his life for a long period of time and that's the reason why he's gently just dropping you know himself to you just to see how you know you're able to communicate or align with him on different things so yeah if he does that girl he's serious my ninth sign is also one that i'm going to make a dedicated video for because people are not creating awareness about love bombing a lot and i need to talk about love bombing because i have been a victim of love bombing i've also had friends that have been victims of love bombing and in as much as it might sound or feel like it's love at the time that is happening in reality it actually isn't if he doesn't love bomb you in the beginning or love bomb you at all he's a serious guy love bombing as we know is that rush of affection that you know cute thing like he's just always there like it just feels like he's present he's buying you all this stuff showing you all this love giving you this doing that always there talking to you da, 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 da. doing the absolute most that's what i'm going to call it doing the absolute most too early that's love bombing those ones are dangerous that the most dangerous type of relationship or love to actually fall victim of so if he doesn't do that to you in the beginning i'm not saying that he's not going to show you love or affection he's not going to care for you or be nice to you or be kind to you or give you gifts and all of that he would but love bombing is a whole different that's the reason why it deserves a video of its own love bombing is completely different and i'm going to talk about it in, in like a dedicated video but if he doesn't love bomb you he's serious about you he's genuine he's not forcing things he's actually showing you how he feels he's probably maybe not calling you too much but that's how it is in the beginning like he goes from that gradual stage you want something that is organic that grows from like the ground up not something that comes with full force and then just right when it's supposed to peak it starts to depreciate that's not what we're going for so if he doesn't love bomb you in the beginning or doesn't love bomb you at all he's serious about you somebody love bombs you run now my last sign that this guy is actually serious about you is if his actions actually matches his words now one thing about guys nowadays that i've noticed is most of them are liars <laughs> that's the truth people hardly have truth in their tongue in their mouth what they say their actions does not match up with their words people are usually unreliable especially men in this our 21st century unreliable like Ugh. they say one thing and they do the, the exact opposite but if you find a guy that his words always match his 
action so if he says i'm going to call you by 6 p.m he calls you by 6 p.m if he doesn't call you by 6 p.m he was probably held up by something or something else came up i know i said i was going to call you by 6 p.m but my grandma just died type thing <laughs> so <laughs> if you have that type of guy that is you know straightforward because nowadays you can't trust anybody especially men but if you have someone who his words matches his actions what he says he will do is what he does that's a serious guy and honestly that's a guy that could potentially be the one for you because you will never have any reason to doubt anything about that man you will never have any reason to have mixed feelings you will never be in limbo because if you ask him about something he will tell you and if he's if he doesn't want to talk about it he will also tell you oh i don't want to talk about it and i like men and people in general that are straightforward those are my 10 signs that this guy is actually serious about you if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and follow me on instagram if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe leave me a thumbs up let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let me know you know other signs that this guy is actually serious about you i like to have a conversation with you guys in the comment section as per usual how we do it you're familiar with how we make things pop on this channel okay thank you thank you thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye